So number two, he says second song is called The Package. You don't really have to talk about me that way, Adrian. I can just show you my package if you want. Oh, it's by A Perfect Circle, which is, I believe, uh, Maynard's other band outside of Tool, which they're very good, like A Perfect Circle as well, or the stuff that I've heard. I don't know them as well as I know Tool, and I don't even know Tool like everybody loves Tool, but I know enough Tool, but I don't know them like the fans know them. Most people know this band to be Maynard James Keenan's Tools vocalist side project. The song starts out slow and haunting and finishes with a nice heavy riffage and lots of emotion. I really enjoy the way it builds and finishes. You like to be finished, right? What a happy ending. The package happy ending. We like it. All right, here we go. Number two. That was weird. I was like, is there someone like in my house? Is the way it's recorded. Adrian. <laughs> okay. Smoke a cigarette or some weed. Okay. Like this. Da -da 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 -da. Love the way it's starting. Clever got me this <laughs> A banana slug. That's really funny. Could be though, it could be a pepper though. Paprika. Adrian, what did you think of them live? Who's the drummer since it's not Danny Carey for a perfect circle? I mean, the drums kind of sound similar to Danny, something Danny Carey would do. Josh Reese. Okay. Don't know that name. Okay, they get that. Especially with the snare turned off on the snare that he's playing right here. Sounds something that Danny Carey would do, for sure. Oh, for Food Fighters, okay. When you say just added him, like how long ago? Like right after Taylor passed away? Or like just recently? Uh, okay, you wanted something heavier, Adrian. Nothing Do it again. <laughs> I like that interval jump. Okay. So he is new new. Okay. <laughs> Baggins playing with words and playing with himself, maybe. I like that. There's that interval again. Hi. Do it again. Hi. That bass sounds really, it sounds like a, like I call it the fart bass sound.
Ooh, here we go. Oh, that's gonna go dun, dun, dun. Yep, there we go. Adrian, how many albums do they have? Yes. I know it's not the same, don't rip me to shreds, but this sounds very chevelle this part. I immediately thought of Chevelle. The guitar sounds a little different, but the tone anyway, but... Oh, three or four, okay. Mm. I like how this feels. <laughs> Arrow, I just read your comment, 4216. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. I don't know if I like the last song or this one better yet. It's tough. <laughs> There's that, that note again, the interval. Uh, uh, <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking dream of this tonight. Uh, <laughs> totally gonna be dreaming of this. Uh, Ivanator, are you playing with words there, or you really think that he's actually a fool? Because I feel like he's pretty talented. Very serious, but very talented. Like a black belt or something, a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. Amazing voice, great written songs. Seems like the cat's pajamas to me. Yeah, that's right. Someone said that. He makes his own wine. How's he a dick to his fans? That's the first I've heard of that. The only time I've heard anything negative about tools that they waited so fucking long to come out with an album. I was like the only gripe that everybody had. That's what I'm wondering is how is he a jerk? Like what is... Does he say shit that's really like rude? Or is he just honest and say like, fans, you're not... I don't do everything for you. Like I can see fans getting pissed at that, but... You don't need to do everything to please the fans. Yeah, this is a great song. If it sounds like it's fading out, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, as I thought. Hmm. All right, so if I were to... Um, I think I'm going to go with one, two. I think I like the Riverside song a little bit better just because I did have more energy, though I thought this song was fantastic and it will go on a playlist. So... I'm just putting, I, I really like the way it started out. I totally get what you mean, Adrian, by saying it's kind of um, chill. Um, and I thought it was going to take off there for a minute, but it just kind of did it for a second. And then it went back to the, you know, chill part and the, ah, uh, ee, ah, uh, ee, ah, uh, ee. <laughs> um, but I dug it. I definitely dug it. Good song. Um, I'd be interested, Perfect Circle fans, if you are watching this somehow i will probably put this as a um a one upload of the stream as well as the last song perfect circle fans number one yes or no in the comments are you also a tool fan my guess is most of you're gonna say yes i just would be surprised if there were like perfect circle fans that don't like tool that'd be very very surprising to me number two in the chat which i don't know if you can see but try to check out the chat if you can which will be in the live stream. 
uh, people are saying that Maynard's kind of a dickish. It's very interesting, and the reason I'm asking this is because Mike Portnoy gets the same kind of backlash. Like, people think he, like there's a, a big group of people in the world who think he's a dick. They're like, he's so full of himself, he's such a dick. And I'm like, I, I, I don't think he's perfect because he um, does say some weird shit sometimes every once in a while. But he's also like extra over the top good to his fans. Like ever since they became Dream Theater and then when he's done his stuff, he's really, really been like over the top with like performing and going above and beyond for the fans. But yes, he does say some weird shit from time to time, but he's a human being and it's been 30 years in his career, 30 plus years. Um, is it that kind of thing? Perfect Circle slash Tool fans with Maynard? Or does is he more like very visibly and vocally a dick? Um, I do think some of what gets put on Portnoy is unwarranted, but I do understand why they say it because sometimes he does say some weird shit that's just like, why, why do you got to say that? Uh, but... For the most part, I don't I don't think a lot of it's warranted that he's a dick. I think he's a really nice guy and does a lot of hard work for the fans over above and beyond what most people do, song singer songwriters. But uh, I'll be interested for those perfect circle slash tool fans. If you have more examples like they're putting in the chat right now of, of Maynard being a dick, supposedly, because the stuff that's in the chat right now, I'll be honest, if he says shit to kind of push away the fanatics, I don't really have a problem with that because fanatics are weird and they need to be pushed away and they need to like a, a check in life. Or if he's just a common dick to everybody, that's a little different. But if he's actually trying to like, for instance, let me give you an example. I've always said this. If I were ever famous, which I will never be and I don't want to be, but if I were ever like famous, like those type of people famous, I would never, ever, ever sign an autograph. I wouldn't. I'd be one of those rare celebrities that'd be like, Hey man, I, you're cool. Nice to meet you. Thank you. But I'm not signing an autograph for you because I have never, never understood why people get hung up on other people. Yes. What you do is amazing and you have a gift and you have a talent, but you are human. You shit like the rest of us. I don't care about getting your autograph. I've never, other than the first show with dream theater, I've never gotten people's autographs. I don't care. Like, I've never bought their merchandise. I don't really care. Like, the people themselves, I don't care about. They're just people. And so, if someone wants to wants me to sign an autograph, I'd be like, dude, in my mind, go, go, don't, don't idolize or look up to me or anybody else that's a celebrity. So, signing signatures to me is, the, is just idolization to a, an extreme that's not warranted, in my opinion. Sorry if you're one of those people that loves to collect people's autographs, but if I were ever famous, I would not sign autographs. So is Maynard's kind of thing like that, where he's just trying to push away people who are weird because they're weird and they put too much stock in things that they shouldn't put too much stock in, like celebrities? Uh, anyway, I'd be interested in the comments for you guys. Like maybe I started a fire debate, but that'd be nice. I'd actually like to start a fire debate on the channel. Yeah.